Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the he can't look like that anymore, right? No shot. Simple. I want to see what... No he better look different when he's 18 than when he did when he was 12. Directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone mm. is either off or somewhere with no reception. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furoe being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin too. We should also head to Sekiba High. God damn, That's load where the me second up. body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? Baby. What food do you like? Salty. Sure. Nice. Mizuki. With the pipe. Nice. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, do I rank up? Yeah, boy. The explosion end. How come that's the first time I've gotten to uh, clear the VR section perfectly? Huh. Did I fuck up the other ones? I don't think I did. Uh, well, let's go to Shoma's house first. Putter, putter. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. Damn, she got right under that kotatsu. The kotatsu. <laughs> Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We Dang. need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. All right, question time. Ba -bum. A lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. The correct answer is zero. Yeah, square lions feet. don't eat grass. Lions Dumbass. Don't eat grass. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, grass sometimes. What? What kind of little kid logic is that? <laughs> Hey, Perv, don't look! <laughs> what the fuck? Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. Ogling your own legs, new meta. Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. Hey, my name is Penny Ben. Nice to meet you. This thing talks? Strange name. Penny Ben. I finally found it! That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for! It has yeah, dude. two legs. Oh, it's a picture of Mizuki. You? There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? Hmm. No. I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. Damn. You don't either. Fight. Fight.
At a rooster. It's at a rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adara works Yo, at. Yo, the lore? That is a peculiar situation. No one-wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. Hmm. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? Mizuki does. In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. Huh. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. Fine. Let's go see again. Oh, and Mame. Oh, Mame? Mizuki, what are you doing here? Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. I see. Hmm. Gin knows about Shoma. Before the incident six years ago, Shoma frequented this place. His father must have brought him here. Hey, Aiba, can you do that thing? <sighs> Fine, but just once, okay? Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm Drumaimon. <laughs> I see. What's with that weak reaction? Mizuki, look, it's a Hispella Testacea. Yay! Go, little Hispella Testacea. What kind of bug is that? I guess you might say there's an elephant in the room. <sighs> wow, that was remarkably unfunny. And... Hi, Mame. Are you okay? I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern, but I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Uh, is something bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? I know it's just a rumor, but people going missing after watching a ViewCube video. It's the same as the urban legend from six years ago. But it's different this time. I think it's actually happening. I was able to find the video. <sighs> Do you want to watch it? Yes! I love creepy videos. Not right now. Now's not the time. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? Nirvana Initiative. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Iva? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Hmm. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. Why are you here, Mame? Well, because... Uh, I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. <laughs> of course I like the food too, but I like the atmosphere and how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot, and sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. <laughs> I guess a Mame is like my daughter. Damn, did she just get friend zoned? Maybe Mame has a father complex. 
Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. It just reminded me of my dad. Right. Your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Hmm. You know where Shoma is? Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw on the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. Do you know where Shoma is? Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential, I can't tell you that. Where were you last night? Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think... That was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things, too. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference hmm. to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. The customer ran off spouting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go by Miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'll come in here soon. Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Mommy has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mommy? Yeah. Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time, I was shocked by how good it was. It was the first time I felt that way since- Holy shit! Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. Why not? He's a rival. <laughs> I'm heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay. I just need some rest. Amame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Mm. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. I wanna watch that video. Uh, let's go see Ota next. His hair looked fancy. Damn. Shoma? I haven't seen him. What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. How come these Shoma two get new outfits? Alone, and he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, dude, I, she's got long hair now. Video? Ota knows Shoma too. Iris introduced them to each other. Hey, Ota, what's Ota's black sauce? It's our house special soy sauce. I kind of like how it's like big fluffy hair. Ota, what's Chef's bloody salad? Oh, it's this dish I make by wrapping myself up in barbed wire. Oh. How is this place still open? <laughs> what the fuck? One would hope it at least tastes good. Tessa, maybe if you wanted to change the overhead lights. Why would I want to do that? Hmm. Sus. Meow. Oh, I get it. 
If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. It sure helped me be happy. Oh, yeah. Mizuki, the gray aliens have a morning stretch routine video. Wanna watch? Oh, I saw that earlier. I think I'll pass. Hmm. I am much bigger. You mean your attitude? No. Proof? Tessa? When are you going to slap my bucket? What? Oh, never. Oh, and got him. That's what you get for its dumb euphemisms. At least come up with something intelligent. A calendar and me and Tessa. What do they have in common? They both have dates. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Can't believe she's put up with him for six years. Oh, we can wink with one. Eggplant, eggplant, I love eggplant. I love eggplant. Mapo, Mapo. I love Mapo Tofu. <laughs> Same. Mizuki, look. A round chair. Yeah. You've matured. <laughs> Thank you. You're a super popular internet. She's idol. popular enough to get a, a new oh, model. No, I'm not really that big a deal. Not to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. No, you can always be cringe. Come on. Like the ant and the grasshopper. I've got to leave my mark on the net world. I really want to chug jug with you. No fucking shot, dude. No way. Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. No fucking way, dude. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Six years ago. I can't believe the shit Divina? they do in this. Yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode and why are you asking me about it now? Well, here's the thing. What if the other half of the body showed up? It must have teleported. It got stuck in another dimension, and half the body got sucked in. The body got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. Jeez, bodies cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere? How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? If I may. The questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation. The carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. What I think happened is... something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. Huh? The Bermuda Triangle? On the east coast of North America, in the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. Tons of ships and planes and stuff have vanished without a trace there. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. Some people think it's a miniature black hole. Others think aliens abducted them. There's even one story about a corpse that was found in the area. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. Man. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. 
She's 24 now. About the video. Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewQ? Show me. Mame told me there was some rumor about a video making people vanish after they watch it. That's the one. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? He could have. Shoma saw the Bats 490 code, right? Is there a code hidden in the new video too? Yeah, I think so. But I didn't understand it. I think Ota knows more about it. He's been trying to solve it. I guess he's not afraid of what might happen. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. If those rumors are true, it could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You think she really understands? I do not believe there is any point in asking. All right, Ota, your turn. You don't look 30 years old. You think so? I have been making some progress lately. I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. I don't know about experience, but you did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young. That's a compliment. Young? Don't you mean more like childish? Oh, stop, Tessa, you're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. <sighs> Baby. Should I do if an old guy attacks me? Uh, crush his throat. You're not gonna cut your hair? I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. No, it looks good. You're Don't really cut busy, it. Huh? Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. How long? Is <gasps> you fucking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Snip, 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 four, snip, five, snip, six, snip, seven, snip, eight. Snip. This is bullshit. You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. Longer hair does not take longer to cut. Ota, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey, that's actually what Gen from Brahmin said too. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is gonna make my food taste better. Besides, I get plenty of customers. Yep. Uh, this place is popping. Well, yeah. With my cooking skills, that's to be expected. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Queues often form out the door. Oh, damn. So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. I don't want to lose to Gen. Why are you two competing anyway? He talks about me like some kind of mortal enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking, not determined to be the best. But I want to prove to him that I'm better, and I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. Goddamn, ambitious. You're still Iris's fan, right? Of course. I'm still Tessa's number one fan. I'm surprised all. he and Mama haven't had a fight to the her. death yet over being Twitter number one fan. Oh my trash. god. I even use multiple accounts so she can rise to the top of trending. <laughs> I am devoted day and night. Thank you for everything you do, Oda. Well, I good work, brave soldier. Adding more fuel to the fire here. Keep up the fight. Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Freight, great, Tessa! Airplanes! Hide, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <laughs> Mizuki just died. 
up the video. Oh, new video uploaded to view cube. I want to watch yeah, it. I want to watch it. it go missing. So, Ota, were you able to decode it? Nope. And I've tried, believe me. This one's harder than Bats 490 from six years ago. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind controlled, like Project Bluebeam or MK Ultra. What's Project Bluebeam? It's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere, but in reality, it's a scheme to take over the world. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. It gets the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation, and instead unify under a new world order. So this video is kind of the same Damn. idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. What about the other one, MK Ultra? MK Ultra is the code name for a top secret project that the CIA a whole was lot of LSD, of a whole lot. Their so-called experiments were inhumane, even torturous, all to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD, yep. did electroshock therapy, hypnosis. And the results of their experiments were all destroyed. So no one knows anything for sure. Iva, can you show me the video? I have already found it. <gasps> yes, let's go. It is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Oh, we already saw that Nirvana. one. Unless it's different. It? At once. Better be a different one. the same the end hmm. I didn't get anything from that but there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, BATS 490, and the QR video. Yes, the video from six years ago linked to Jin Furaway from our investigation. It can't just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana trial video, but it is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. Hey, Mizuki, are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. I'm fine. I'm gonna head out and look for Shoma. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah! Got it. No, uh, gibberish vomiting. Uh, shenanigans this time? That's good. Uh, what's new in here? Again. Age unknown. Skills cooking and crushing rocks. Nothing has changed. Maybe he's afraid of change. Amame, 24. Dislikes customers who sit there for three hours with just a coffee, silence in the left side. Dislikes the right side. Interesting. Skills exploiting vanity and receiving lavish gifts. Graduated from Seki behind, but she still works at Sunfish Pocket as a mermaid. Recently, she's had some health issues and seems to know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Terror. Still everything unknown. Iris. 24. 
She likes Mizuki. Dislikes scary people. Graduated from Sekiba High, but she's still a talent affiliated with Limniscade and is still an internet idol. She's worried about the younger up-and-coming idols and consults Mama at Marble about it. An Ota age 30? Seriously? Cook and a self-proclaimed light novel author. Likes A-Set and chocolate. Dislikes enemies of A-Set. Skills cooking and driving. Still runs Matsushita Diner by himself. Still loves Tessa. He has no girlfriend. He's still a virgin. He's still an amazing cook. Nothing has changed. I bet he... If he's 30, doesn't that mean he has his wizard powers by now? If you're a virgin at 30? I forget when you get your powers. <gasps> they got it. A meme song spread on the internet. I hope it's not stuck on your head in your head now. It is. It never left my head. The collective unconscious. It's like what Iris says before, it's something ingrained inside all humans. Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature which is identical in all individuals. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, at a subconscious level. Boat. My true name is Boat. Tara was referring to boats for some reason. Does it have Dahlia in here too? Yeah. Interesting. Still one missing uh, manual page. Interesting. Oh, I want to see it. Do I have every entry in the six years ago? Yes, okay. Would have been interesting if there was still some questions. Now we're on the other branch. Alright, let's spend eyeballs and then get the hell out of here. Abyss t-shirt. Come on! Show me too! No new anything's in here? Nope, no new anything's in there. 